Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to introduce you to Azure DevOps. So what is Azure DevOps? Azure DevOps is one of the, the best CI CD tool. Um, it's like Jenkins or GitLab CI. Um, and we we can uh, deploy uh, the application in any cloud provider or uh, so you can deploy your application on Azure or AWS or Google platform uh, and even on premises. All right. But uh, for the sake of this um, demonstration, I'm going to use uh, Azure cloud platform so in this video i'm going to focus on azure devops here i will show you how to um, to build a ci cd pipeline and um, the most um, azure have like uh, many features many components but in this video, I will show you uh, two components. We will be focusing on these two components, uh, Azure Repos, which is a, a Git uh, remote repository. It's like GitHub, okay? It's where you can uh, uh, push your, your code. So you can work uh, with GitHub as well. It's gonna work, okay? But uh, in this video, I'm going to do everything in Azure. That's why I will use this component, which is Azure Repos. And we will focus also on the second component, which is Azure Pipelines. That's where we will be uh, building our, our pipeline. Yeah? Um, and as you, as you know, with the CI CD, we have like two, uh, two parts or two features. Um, we have a feature uh, pipeline which will take care of the continuous integration uh, CI and there is another feature in this uh, Azure pipeline which is releases and the releases features is going to take care of the continuous uh, delivery uh, deployment. All right. So um, that's what we are going to do. And in my case here, um, I'm using a Dockerized application, a containerized application. Okay, so we will build a Docker image and then we need to store that Docker image. So that's why here we will be pushing the Docker image to um, um, Azure Container Registry. Okay, again here, you can use, uh, there are multiple uh, container registry. You can use uh, Docker Hub, which is a public uh, container registry. Okay. Uh, and you can also deploy your application in any platform. Uh, as I said, you can deploy your application on AWS or Google platform or even uh, on premises, so on your own local um uh, environment so you have a, a virtual machine or a server somewhere you can uh, deploy your application but uh, in this demonstration i'm going to do everything inside asia okay and um yeah another thing uh, because this video is more focused on uh, building a ci uh, cd pipeline so the focus is not about uh, creating the virtual machine because even in um, Azure, you can we can create a virtual machine ourselves, uh, configure the virtual machine and uh, deploy the application over there. But in my case, I'm going to use this uh, service. It's a uh, Azure app service. It's like uh, a platform as a service. So uh, it will manage the virtual machine for us so we won't create a virtual machine from scratch we will just use this service and this server will take care for provisioning the virtual machine for us so what we need is just to focus on our ci cd pipeline 
and uh, uh, our application that's all okay and um, uh, as a reminder we did this on the previous video so if you didn't see my previous video please uh, pause this video i'm going to i'm gonna put the link of my previous video uh, in the description below then go to that video uh, and watch that video so uh, you can see how to create uh, a, a container registry on azure and how to use this um this azure app service okay to deploy your application uh, so because this this is uh, managed by uh, azure azure will uh, take care of uh, uh, provisioning the virtual machine where um, your application will be deployed okay that's what uh, as a reminder we can uh, see what we did uh, last in, in the previous video uh, as you can see here uh, what we did uh, we have we had uh, our application uh, like here i have this application okay and uh, as you can see we have a docker file here so what we did we have created a, a docker image okay for this uh, application and uh, we have pushed the docker image here in the azure container registry but before we have created first this uh, azure uh, container registry on uh, on azure okay on azure portal we have created and we have pushed the image uh yeah manually uh and then we have also created this uh, web app and uh, this will web app um, uh, is taking care of pulling the image from the docker from the container register for us and uh, deploy that uh, container uh, that docker container uh, in a, in a, in a virtual machine and we can access the the application uh, on a browser using the ul provided by this uh web app okay we can check what we did uh, last in the previous video okay this is our um, con registry container registry uh, registry so uh if we go inside uh repository so this is our image and this and we have all the tag okay so uh i can show you we have here this is the image we have built with the tag 25 and then we have pushed that image this image here and also we have created a web app which is a spring boot web app okay with these app services and if we go inside uh, overview so we have the ul okay so we can use this ul to access our application and this is the ul here okay we have this application okay and uh, as you can see it's the same thing here so this is our application all right so now if i refresh okay i still have this application and uh, then what we will do we will uh, update so that uh, after creating our ci uh, cd pipeline and uh, this will be uh, the, the update will will uh, show up here as well so when we will create our ci cd pipeline and if we refresh here we will have now uh, 26 all right uh, that's what we are going to do uh, now okay uh, we come back here so today we our focus is here in azure devops so we will start with uh, azure repos to push our code in this um, repository okay uh, inside azure devops and then we will be uh, creating our pipeline using azure pipelines okay we have two features 
uh, pipelines and releases pipeline for the CI uh, and uh, releases for the continuous delivery and another thing here is the we need service connection because um, for the pipeline to be able to push uh, the, the docker image into uh, the Azure container registry we need some connection okay to do that because um, we won't push the, the the image the docker image manually uh, the, the 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 pipeline will take care of that okay after building the application he will push the the, the docker image directly so we need to to have this uh, uh, connection and also after uh, pushing the image here the docker image here we will use the continuous deployment here uh, then we need also a kind of a connection so we need two service connection okay let's start uh, yes this is azure devops uh, so you can for example uh, just search Azure DevOps. You have this link. If you go here, um, yes, you can start for free if you don't have uh, an account. If you already have an account, already have an account, you sign in by this clicking here. Okay, I'm inside my Azure DevOps, and first thing we need to create a project. Okay, so we need to give a name. I will give the same name as my uh, folder my working here folder because this will be uh, my repository okay uh, you see dev ci cd okay you can give a, a description and you create okay it will be creating the project we can go back here um now we need to to initiate this uh, folder so that it's gonna be a repository so git init okay now it's uh, a a repository now as you can see we need to commit uh i'm just gonna Put first commit. First commit. We need to stage all these changes. Stage. Okay. And we commit them. Okay. Let's go back to our project. Now we have the project. Okay. As you can see, we have uh, many components and uh, many features. But today we get, we're going to focus on repos and the pipeline. So we'll start with repos. Okay, here <clears throat> we have two options. We can uh, clone or we can, if we, we already have an existing repository, we can use this one. So uh, this is HTTPS, you can use it. This is the easy way to, to go, uh, but uh, I, I prefer working with SSH, but uh, you need to do some configuration. So uh, it's a little bit complicated, but if you, you have some concern with that you can drop a comment so i can show you how to um to configure the ssh all right so i'm gonna take this one uh copy and come back here paste all right now i need to push um Copy. Okay. All means here if we have uh, multiple many branches, so we can push all of them. I just have one branch, branch, which is main, as you can see here. Then I can push the only branch I have. Okay, let's push it. All right, done. Uh, now, if we come back here and just refresh, all right, now we have our 
euh, repo in euh, Azure DevOps. OK. Done for the first, for the first uh, component. Now we need this one. But before we can uh, just um, create this, uh, this connection. OK. Let's go here. Uh, project setting. Uh, we are looking for service connection. Okay. Okay. Let's create. Okay. We need to create this one, a Docker registry. Okay. Uh, yes. Next. Uh, we choose Azure container registry. Okay. We need to, um, authenticate. So, I need to put my Azure account. Uh, all right. Next. Okay, I think I make a mistake. <laughs> okay, done. Now I can choose my uh, container registry, which is this one, remember? And now I can give a name. Let's say Azure Container Registry Service Connection. Okay, yes, now I can save it. Okay, let's uh, come back here. Okay, what do we have here? Um, I think we already have everything here. Uh, just wait come back here so what we did we have pushed pushed our repo our code our source code here in our uh, in azure a repo as i said you can use github as well uh, it's okay um and now we have uh, just created the first uh, uh the first uh connection service connection okay let's go back i think now we have it uh just to show you why do we need uh, the second uh, as you can see azure pipelines we have two features here pipeline and release okay pipeline here it's for the continuous integration and uh, we will be using the first service connection we just uh, created and after to that we will be using the second feature which is releases these releases will take care of the continuous um, deployment and here we will use uh, the second uh, the second uh, service connection so you can go back here and uh, service connection okay let's create a new service connection and this time we will be using this Azure Resource Manager okay Azure Resource Manager now uh, next okay we leave as default now next okay again X. Sign. Then it is. Okay. Now we can choose here. Okay. The resource group we are using devops uh resource group 
and you can give the name uh, here it will be azure uh, resource manager service connection and then save and let's wait okay so then we have created a connection uh, that will help uh, that will allow uh, azure pipeline to push the docker image directly in this container registry and the second connection will uh, allow azure pipeline to deploy um, to deploy the the, the application in, to uh, app service here so that's what we are doing now i think it uh, we have the two connection let's go now to the release pipeline okay what we have done we have just um, we have just uh, finished with this uh, first component okay and we have created these two connections so in the next video uh, we will be then uh, creating our pipeline okay first of all for the ci pipeline and uh, and then it we will use another the another feature the release feature to create the the, the continuous deployment okay um yes i hope you are enjoying this uh, this series okay um like the video share subscribe if you didn't uh, subscribe yet and i'll see you in the next uh, video Bye.